going on everybody this is spearing with slurpee it's gonna be a quick video um only speared a couple snapper we had a big storm come in and uh ruined most of the day but this is a little secret hole we have um it's basically a very deep hole sandbar with a big rock pile in the center of it and there's always these huge schools of snapper um they might look like there's Again, tons of snapper, but there's only like this one right here. I speared. There's only so many of them that are actually like the sizes you want to have. Otherwise, they're just like you know, six, seven inch, eight inch snappers. So this one was about 13, 14. He was pretty solid. Real fat too. But one thing I like to do, um, especially if I know I don't have a ton of ice, and in general. I like to um, brain and bleed the fish as quick as possible. Don't like the fish struggling. Um, there's a little artery right up, right up underneath their gills. If you just simply run a blade up in there, just like that, instantly dispatches the fish. Gets all the blood out of the meat, especially when they're in distress. Um, right when you spear them, a lot of that blood typically stays a lot of the meat in the bad areas that you speared them, like if I did a boar shot, so I like to try to get it out of the way. Then I gut them, in case I actually have a nick a bad spot, don't want any of that bad stuff in. It's also given back to the ocean, letting other stuff feed off of it, and keeps the snapper around. So that's the first one. Here is the second one. I went right up to the rock and then I sat down at the bottom and just waited for one of the big ones to come out. You can see sort of some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are very small. The main hole is right on the inside of that spot. You can sort of see some of the big ones, but sure just wait till you get shot like that. actually shot a smaller one but the fish will probably survive it's not really a kill shot it was right above the back and he just came right off so he he'll probably live fish are pretty reluctant dad there's a real big one under there yeah but again brain and bleed Come at an angle, don't go straight down in the fish, otherwise you'll slip and probably stab yourself to come into the angle like I did at the side. Pretty much works with all fish. And then hit their little artery. And then got them.
go up there? Damn it. This is the third spot we went to. We, you know, we're struggling with waves and foul weather all day. You can sort of see at the very beginning of this video we had storms come in and push us. So this is the last spot we could go before the clouds overtook us and eventually a big front came in. Didn't spear anything at this spot, but I wanted to add this video in here just because the water clarity was so good out here. Um, typically handful of times it's always this clear um, or it might stay for a whole month or maybe two months and then it's kind of crappy the rest of the year but this area it's very good bottom sometimes you see hogfish this far up north again this is st mark's so there's a uh, amazing that there's even hogfish in this area but didn't see any in this dive but a lot of snapper um, my dad actually just did a shot right there. Um, I don't think he hit. I don't think he got a snapper on this one. But typically, when you go into a spot, sort of like a bigger one like this, um, the first shots usually what starts to all the commotion and fish start tucking up and not coming back out as much. So usually, first first shot is probably one of the better ones to do. But you sort of see that big storms moving up every time I lift my head out of the water. Um, so I'm just trying to quickly find something decent. Um, like there's a couple good snappers right there, but I'm not using this big spear gun straight into the ground or the rocks. So grouper season is closed. Here I am just checking out a bottom spot though. This is usually a, a gag's always hanging under, right under that ledge in some of those cracks you can sort of see around there, but didn't see any. I was just mainly just checking because uh, the season will open up in September. So I'm just sort of just checking out all spots, seeing if there's anything around. But the water temperature is pretty hot, so I think a lot of the gags sort of moved deeper. Um, and hopefully they might come back up in September. Hey, you have to go out to the bar and shit. Yeah, that's the video. Short, sweet, to the point. Big storm pushed us off, and uh, only got a couple fish. So, like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.